up you guys out again today just got up not long ago and I'm heading to get some breakfast right now and then I was thinking I might go and try some roads that I found yesterday I'm just gonna give them a few passes and see if anything's out cuz it's in the 70s today so guys I just got to the road I wanted to cruise today just got here and I make it a few what like a hundred feet down the road and right off the bat we got a nice gray rat snake right here beautiful snake look at that big one too beautiful gray rat that's awesome beautiful habitat too I just found these roads yesterday and I was like this has to be perfect for some herping so I figured I'd hit it up today and see what we got and boom So we're gonna let this gorgeous rat snake go back into his beautiful habitat here some nice scrubby habitat some small pines what a beautiful snake they're common but it doesn't get much better than this as far as common snakes go in my opinion it's just a really cool look Ooh, he's calling calling onto my shoulder here Snakes are not evil, guys. Just look at that. Wow. Well, guys, I just saw a beautiful pink timber rattlesnake. It's so pink, I can't even begin to explain it. Didn't show it because of the gore. It had just been hit by a I'm assuming the car that was in front of me. I'm still moving, so I hopped out and made sure it was put out of its misery, unfortunately. As much as I hate it, I don't want them to, to suffer either when stuff like that happens. It just, people they just, just don't care. They don't care. That's just the bottom line. They don't care. Oh, so since that rattlesnake, I also saw a DOR cottonmouth, one live racer that scooted off the road, and now this. Probably not going to be able to show that clip, but it's a gray rat snake, and it was very gory, so. Oh. Man, I guess I'm going to keep cruising. I can't justify going home when there's so many snakes moving. Well, well, well. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that face. Wow. That's a pretty eastern box turtle. Wow. Wow move this guy across the road I was just heading home and things are still out here moving beautiful it's just unreal all right there's a dead snake on the road I think I know what it is but we're gonna go get out and look at it once all these cars pass it's safe to do so I parked way down the road from it it's funny how you can get out and you're like a mile down the road from what you stopped for. I think it's a corn snake and it looks pretty dead. Yep. Yep and yep. Oh no, it's a hog nose. It's a freaking orange hog nose. What? Oh. That's rough. All right, guys, so we just cruised a little rat snake on the road and me and Clay just got out. We're starting to cruise, and we haven't been out here all that long. Pretty little guy. Got some nice markings on his head there. It's a little yearling from this year, and he's just beautiful. We're gonna let him go, and uh, I'll let you know if we see anything else. But at least we finally get to see something alive tonight. Hey right, guys, the next day, and I'm out here with Cameron. We're doing some herping. We hiked for indigos earlier, but only found a shed. And this is the first in hand herp of the day. It's a little ribbon snake we flipped under a pallet over there. But we're about to let him go. And apparently we're going to flip because we haven't seen anything while hiking or road cruising all morning. Hopefully we'll find something else. Here, you can let him go. Yeah, there's something nice right there for me, Joe. Yep. And he's, he's feeding on these little cricket frogs that are everywhere.
Guys, next snake of the day, I guess flipping is definitely the tactic we're going to use. Smoker of a red belly snake. That thing is beautiful. What is this, like a minute later? We're yeah. finding this guy? Yeah, we're right down the road. And we have some more stuff to flip here. We got some other stuff. We might find another snake. Who knows? Yeah, that's a pretty one. It's a nice uh, dark phase one, which usually you find the rust colored ones around here. But that's that's pretty unusual beautiful for this snake. area. And they have like a pink, they have like a purplish head too. That's a red bellied snake. All right, we just found a nice grub. Massive. No, it's just massive grub. I'm gonna put there. There's, I see two, including him. So. All right, guys. So I did not get it on video, but we just had to dig through all that metal over there. I don't know if you can see it. We literally had to dig it out. But th we got this guy here. After all day, we finally got a a nice, notable snake that I don't get to see as often as I would like. But this is a timber rattlesnake, Crotalus hortus not happy with us at all with good reason we literally had to dig him out of there to get to see him because as soon as we flipped him he shot off so i feel kind of bad about messing with him that much but i really want to get to see him because as soon as i flipped it we saw instantly it's a beautiful timber rattlesnake we're, we took some photos we don't want to aggravate him too much so we're going to go place him back in his little shed area all right he's also in shed i thought he was uh maybe freshly shed because he's so beautiful but he'd actually be more beautiful if he was Done shedding, which he's in the process of doing right now. That's crazy to imagine. Let him get off in there. What the heck? This is in my driveway, basically. It's a baby timber rattlesnake. What on earth am I looking at? Hello everyone, here is Isabella. Oh, she ducked out of the way. I, guess I can't tell you where, but. Bleep! Huge acorn. We found some huge acorns, or that's what we think it is. Plus we got Daisy. She's a mountain goat. That is beautiful. Got a little, got it there a little too late in the day to see snakes. So. some herping this morning for the first time I've really got to do so this trip but I'm gonna go right down the road from where we're camping I just stole my girlfriend's car so we're gonna go look for some copperheads and timbers that might be out around the river that's near here so um, I don't know how much luck we'll have finding any but it feels really nice outside and I found a DOR copperhead last night that had just been hit before we got to it so I'm thinking that it's probably going to be pretty good weather this morning because it didn't get too terribly cold last night even though it was in the 50s. It didn't stay there for very long so I think we're going to have some good luck if we go out and try. But anyway, I'll let you guys know if we see anything. I'm heading to the trails right now. Beautiful. Anyway, we're going to walk around and see if there's any 
snakes out on the rocks here because it'd be cool to see a hog nose or a timber or any of the more even the more common snakes that live here because I don't go to the Piedmont all that often. I right, just flipped a cool little scorpion. I think these are called something like the devil scorpion or something like that. They live up uh, in North Georgia. They're a bit stockier and crunchier, if that makes sense, than the, the little bark scorpions we have down south. And he has a thicker tail. So if I had to guess, I'd say he's probably a little more potent, but I'm not sure. Cool little guy, I'm gonna let him go. And from the ones I've seen, they seem to be a little bit smaller as well. It's just so cool to me to go to a place like this I'm not used to herping because it's such a different experience. We've got some prickly pears down there, but uh, look at this. I'm just gonna start flipping these rocks here and check in the little patches of sunlight where snakes are coming out to bass. Because it was quite cold this morning, so they should be coming out right now to absorb the heat when the light hits the rocks. So, I'm gonna go and check. Still at it, guys. Lots of scorpions up here. Let this guy go back under his rock that's sitting on a larger rock. Give you an idea of how plentiful these scorpions are, I just flipped this little rock right here. I don't know where they went now, but there they are. There's three scorpions under there. Crazy. Move, guys. Another three scorpion flip. Need to move these guys. Excuse me, dudes. Can you move? There we go. There we go. Nope, don't go back under there, I'm gonna squish you. It's first herp of the day, just flipped the little, I think it's a southeastern five line skink, and he's biting me, look at that. Nice little five line skink, beautiful. What a beautiful creature. When they're young, they have that nice blue tail, and as they get older, it kind of fades. I think I just found the prize of the day. A crevice toad. What a cute little guy, hanging out in this crevice. This first snake of the day, took all the strength I could muster to lift that one boulder that I put right back down on my shoelace to find this guy. Little ringneck snake. Cute little dude, little teeny tiny one, but I'm about to let him go and keep looking. Hoping a copperhead would show up in here somewhere. Maybe a timber, maybe a king snake, but none of that's happened yet. Still can't complain, found a snake, so maybe that's a good sign, and they're out. This guy's still cool to the touch, and it seems to be pretty cool in here still, even though the rest of the habitat seems to have warmed up, so. Guys, well, next snake today is another ring neck, it's a bigger one. With Isabella and Daisy. It's flipped under a little board, and this ring neck has a view with it, so I'll take it. How cute. I just got home yesterday from the Piedmont and I'm kind of tired today but we have something to do I've got to go let that little timber rattlesnake go because uh, the one I found in my driveway I actually kept it overnight and then I didn't end up letting it go before I went and I've only had it for like two days but it's time for him to go back I tried to give him a meal to give him a good start since he is so young but he was not interested so I'm going to just go ahead and let him go here he is right here he's cooled up Still doing great. I gave him some water, and I'm probably about to give him some more real quick before I release him. But you guys will get to see me put him back in the wild because I don't want to keep him. Although it would be awesome to have a little rattlesnake. He belongs in the wild, and you guys will get a really good look at him as he crawls off because I know you didn't get a great look at him when I found him. So I'm going to go do that. I'll see you guys when we get there. Alrighty, guys. So here's a little timber rattlesnake we're about to let go. This is the habitat where we're doing it. It's right down the road from my house. And it's pretty great because I see a lot of timber rattlesnakes, specifically baby ones, emerging from this right here in the spring. It's a pretty good place because it's like a little den site. I put this tent out here in hopes of attracting more. It hasn't been that great for them this year, but typically it is a good place for them. So they should do great out here and have no problems because it is just down the road from where I found them at my house. So should have no problems adjusting to his new little habitat but there he is little guy I tried to give him a mouse pink last night and he bit it and envenomated it but it just turned mush from the venom so 
he did not go back and eat it <laughs> he left it just to rot but that's okay because he's about to go back in the wild and get plenty of food right out here because there's all kinds of little rodents and lizards and everything else that lives here that's why you see so many babies so I'll go ahead and get them out I've got some tweezers here these are not in all honesty not big enough to hold him Let's see if I can tickle him out of there Bed. Gonna be like that, are we? There we go. Oh, he's angry. There we go. There's a nice woo. There's a nice little timber. It's not happy with me. It's ready to go back into the wild where he belongs. You can hear his little buzzer going off. He's uh, he's only got one little button, so he can make a little bit of noise. And he's gonna go right back off into where he belongs. It matches these leaves perfectly. So they have no trouble feeling right at home and hiding from predators. Awesome. All right, guys, so we ended off on a nice, happy note there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment also if you think I did a good job or if you think I didn't. Just let me know in the comments. If you guys want to see more of this content, be sure to subscribe and check back in very shortly because there will be another video out very soon. Really enjoy making this content for you guys, and I hope that it teaches a lot of people things that they didn't already know about snakes and other reptiles. And if you are a big reptile fan like I am, and you just watch it to see the cool stuff that we get to see on this channel, then I hope you enjoy it in that way as well. And with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Thanks again for all the subscribers and support. I'll catch you next time.